I still can't believe we're only a couple of hours away from our chateau. This is a fantastic place. Ready? One, two, three. What's behind the hill, Anna? Something very good. I think you might like it. We are back at the chateau and I'm extremely upset. We come in the garden and we find vandalism and destruction. Si je prenais ce scooter pour me promener à Honfleur, est-ce que j'aurais l'air jeune et dangereux? There might be another green room in the future, but not this colour, not this green. My name is Anna. I'm an English former fashion and textile designer. I moved to Paris, age 23, to work for the French couture house Bauman and stayed for the croissants, the wine, and of course for Philip, a filmmaker from the South Tyrolean Alps. After 10 amazing years, getting married, buying and renovating two homes and having two babies, we decided city life was no longer for us. Philip had been dreaming of buying a chateau since the day we met and finally convinced me to start looking. We came to visit Chateau Gonville Sauvignon Fleur. Despite being in quite poor condition and needing a complete renovation, we immediately fell in love. In May 2019, we got the keys to the chateau, our new home. With a tight budget, we had no choice but to do most of the renovations by ourselves. We're learning new skills as we go, building muscles we never knew we had, and getting creative to make the chateau as personal as possible whilst preserving its historic features. It's all part of this crazy family adventure and we wouldn't change it for anything. Anna. Yes? You look happy. I am, um, I'm very relaxed. Are you relaxed? <laughs> yeah. What happens? We sailed to a beautiful little island um, just off the coast of Bretagne and it's called Ile de Watt. Ile de Watt? Ile de Watt. Ile de Watt? Ile de Watt, yeah. Good. Not what with a W, but what with a H. I got it. <laughs> and it's amazingly beautiful here, isn't it? I mean, we are a little surprised. I feel like we're in, I don't know, in Maurice or the Mauritius or something like that. It's just stunning. It's beautiful. I think we got very lucky with the weather. Turquoise, beautiful waters and golden sands. Hardly anybody here because it's hard to get to and really beautiful landscape as well behind us. So we're going to go and have a little explore, I think. Anna, do you miss DIY? I don't at the moment. <laughs> I'm happy to be having a little break. And here, this here, this is our boat. Right, girlies, who's coming on an adventure? Come on. I still can't believe we're only a couple of hours away from our chateau. This is a fantastic place. What's behind the hill, Anna? Something very good. I think you might like it. Oh. I'm zooming in and it looks like a beach bar. Usually when I saw these boats out there, I was always dreaming and saying that one day I will be on one of these boats and instead of going back to the hotel or home, I came back on the boat and sleep there and then travel somewhere else. And now it happens. The island apparently has a lot of beautiful sites and a really nice little town. Yeah. But we haven't explored the island. Unfortunately not. <laughs> we got a little distracted by the bar <laughs> and we ordered ourselves some cocktails. doing? I can't find Mama because she's gone down but I think Ella's coming up again so I'm not really sure if that will be good because then we need to go to the boat again and there's a dog over there. That's true. What do you think about sailing so far? Well I like sailing Should but we buy a boat? I was a bit sick after. Yeah but then you came up with a pirate song. Ayo ho ho, ayo ho ho, we are the pirates now. Ayo ho ho, ayo ho ho, 
We are the pirates now. Ayo ho ho, ayo ho ho, we got the treasure now. Ayo ho ho, ayo ho ho, oh thank you. Do you think pirates really say thank you when they steal treasure? No, thank you to watch it, that's why. Ah, thank you for watching you singing. Yes. Ah, that's good. Show me where Mama is and show, we, show me the way back to the boat. Mama's over there. And um, they is packing all the things to, to go to the boat. So now I'm just going to go to Mama. Hi, Mama! The next morning we sailed about an hour and a half to reach belle en mer the beautiful island on sea. It's the third largest island of France and despite a spike of visitors during the high summer season, the island is famous for its laid-back feel and has attracted musicians and creatives for hundreds of years. We entered the port town of Palais through a narrow lock with quite a lot of boat traffic as the tide only allows entering and exiting once a day for an hour. Once you're inside, you're basically trapped until the next high tide. But we loved the mood of this island, and we would have stayed longer if we could. The island's main attraction is a citadel, a thousand-year-old fortress extended and reinforced in the 17th and 18th century. It took the English 5,000 men to conquer it in the 18th century, before they gave it back to the French in exchange for Menorca. In the Second World War, it was taken by the Germans before being liberated at the end of the war. It is now privately owned, has a museum and hotel, and if not for just enjoying the beautiful views, it's definitely worth a visit. Au revoir, Belle Île! Au revoir, Belle Île! C'est vraiment très belle, Belle Île! Mais moi, je suis encore plus beau! Oh, Philip, what are you doing? I'm fishing. We need some dinner. <laughs> Do you think we're actually going to catch something though? Absolutely, yes. These advanced fishing techniques. Big one. <laughs> We're hungry. <laughs> Has he got something? Let's see, let's see. Oh, he's got it. He, he got an octopus, an octopus. Brilliant. On our last day on the boat, we decided to sail back to the island of Wat. This time to a western bay, which should protect us from the changing winds in the night. Wow, we have just 
just spent the night on another part of Ile de Wat in this beautiful, beautiful island and we have just left the boat and we're taking our little annex, a little dinghy over to a little private beach. This is amazing. It feels like we're in the Bahamas or something, except the water temperature is a little colder. Ready? One, two, three. I think that's a perfect beach. This is pretty perfect, isn't it? Look at this. Ah. And that's just a morning swim. <laughs> Our boat. Is this We are back at the chateau and I'm extremely upset. Not because the holidays are over, that as well, but more so because we come in the garden and we find vandalism and destruction. And that's not a joke. Look here. Somebody or something ate the bark of my aces. My two favorite trees, I planted them a couple of months ago. They were expensive, it took me a long time to plant them. And I loved them here, look at the color, how beautiful they are. But now they lost all their bark. And I researched and apparently they will not survive, they will die. Because if the bark is taken off from all around the stem, the, the water can't come into the leaves and that's it. The question is who did it? We had friends here staying whilst we were on holidays. Sophie, William, Raphael. William, Raphael, I, I, I can't see them doing this. Sophie, she's a vegetarian, but then she knows how much I love these trees. I, I don't think she was it either. I think it must have been an animal. Ben, the badger. I don't think that's a badger thing. Randy, the bull. I don't think he escaped. I think it was a deer. It was the deer. I'm pretty sure it was the deer. I googled it and it said that's what deer do. I, I love them. I still love them. I still love seeing them. But right now I envision them more as a venison sausage. It's a dilemma. Would you sacrifice your tree to make your deer happy? Or would you kill the deer to save your trees? It's hard sometimes to be eco-friendly. What would Greta do? Yeah, she would fly somewhere and make a speech, but what would she say? Would she save the tree or would she save the deer? So many questions and no answers. Do you know more about these trees? Do you know, can, can I do something to, to save this tree? I, I would be super happy if I could save it. Is there something you can smear on it? And, and I don't know. There was a lot of branches and they just killed the branches as well. And now it's like a stem and looks like a palm tree. I could maybe cut it off here. Maybe that's what I have to do. Maybe just to save the, the roots. But then I end up with a bonsai acer. That's not what I wanted here. So if you have an idea, I need your help. 
Look how beautiful these red leaves are. Even if I'm joking, I'm genuinely upset. I really love these two trees and it makes me sad to have to watch them die now. This beast literally nibbled on every single tree we bought a couple of months ago. I have to protect them, that's all I can do. I haven't seen that dog for over two weeks. Now he's finally back and he came on this machine. Nathan, tu l'as acheté où euh, Je ne l'ai pas acheté, je l'ai volé. Il ne l'a pas acheté, il l'a volé. Est-ce que le code de la route, tu le respectes euh, Le code de la route, je ne sais pas du tout ce que ça signifie. Mais tout ce que je sais, c'est que je suis jeune et dangereux. Il est jeune et dangereux. Et si je prenais ce scooter pour me promener à Honfleur, est-ce que j'aurais l'air jeune et dangereux Et est-ce que j'aurais du succès auprès des jeunes filles Alors, jeune. Je sais pas. Dangereux, tu peux, carrément. Et après du succès, je pense pas. Ok. Ok. Anna. Hey. What are you doing? Printing some more paper because I've run out of paper to send to some of the patrons with the wallpaper samples. And we're trying to multitask because we've also been asked to take some pictures for an editorial from a French magazine. And they asked to do a feature on the wallpaper, which is really exciting. So we thought, why don't we kill two birds with one stone? I see. Yeah. I was afraid we're doing another green room. There might be another green room in the future, but not this colour, not this green. I think you're really good at this now, Anna. I'm just doing a few little touch-ups because sometimes it gets some little areas where it doesn't print really well. Maybe I should have a go. I'm sure the patrons would love to have some samples <laughs> made by me as well. What do you think? I mean, why not? Let's, let's do it. You trust me? <laughs> Maybe we should give them the option wallpaper made by Philip or wallpaper made by Anna. Yeah, let's do that. So probably I don't have to make any. <laughs> Maybe for the next room you can do the wallpaper and I'll do the plumbing and we'll see how it works. And the electrics. Yeah. It's a brilliant idea. <laughs> okay, Anna. I've seen enough. Okay, go and get back to work. All right, see you later. See you later. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.